Hey everyone, Leanne Pilkington here for the Real Estate Wrap week commencing February 15. I hope you all had a beautiful Valentine's Day yesterday. Uh, this week in Sydney, we had 624 properties go to auction with a preliminary clearance rate of 87.5%. Last week, 447 properties uh, with a final clearance rate of 84.4%. So that's super strong. Last year, 583 properties with a clearance rate of 75.4%. Our friends in Melbourne in lockdown again, the poor thing. So this week there were 668 properties scheduled for auction with a preliminary clearance rate of 87.8%. Half of all of the properties that sold were actually sold prior, which is no surprise. I'm sure there was a lot of auctions dragged forward very, very quickly. We've only had 8% of those auctions um, withdrawn at this stage, but those numbers might change as um, over the next couple of days. Uh, last week, they had 615 auctions at a 76% clearance rate. Last year, same weekend, 743 auctions. So they're still tracking quite far behind what they were uh, this time last year. Back to New South Wales, the Central Coast had 100% uh, preliminary clearance rate for their auctions, phenomenal. The following suburbs were above 90%, or sorry, following regions, I should say. Sutherland, Parramatta, Northern Beaches, Blacktown, Newcastle and Lake Macquarie, all tracking above 90%. The uh, Westpac Melbourne Institute of House Price Expectations, he, who even knew there was such a thing, right? Um, it asks if people think prices are going to rise or fall over the next uh, 12 months. No surprise, it, it's jumped to a seven month high in February. Um, it's sitting at 154.7, which means the number of people expecting a price rise over the next 12 months far outweighs those expecting price falls. I guess you don't have to be a genius to work that out at the moment. Anyway, hope you have a wonderful week and I'll catch you next week from Queensland.